Top 6 Reasons Why Foreigners Leave Japan Why would anyone want to leave the land of the rising sun? The land of Sakura and Sushi. Here are the top 6 reasons why foreigners leave Japan in no particular order. In at number 1, Crappy Companies. Commuting in Japan can be tricky. Let alone working in a Japanese company. I mean, so difficult, you can die. Let me explain. Ever heard of Karoshi? Death by overwork. This term has been used since the 1970s for people spending too much time in the office. One sad case of Karoshi was a 31 year old journalist named Miwa Sado. Miwa died of heart failure in July of 2013 due to Karoshi. She reportedly logged 159 hours of overtime in one month at the news network NHK. The sad thing is, most overtime is unpaid and many companies expect you to conform and work as a team to make the company a success. Most foreigners will quit way before Karoshi can occur. Their tolerance for work slavery is much less than Japanese employees. Plus, they want to get paid for overtime. Plus, they can say no much easier. Similarly, many foreigners have terrible experiences with some teaching companies, which leave a bitter taste in their mouths. In short, many foreigners haven't got the capacity to take BS from their employers. This is due to cultural differences and work ethic. In at number 2, we have negative culture shock. Ew, raw fish, ew, sushi, sound familiar? What about, where can I get some real food? Or, nobody talks to me. Or, I don't speak the language, people are so unsocial. And the list goes on. This level of negative culture shock can eventually lead to foreigners packing up their bags and saying goodbye to the land of the rising sun. The inability to become accustomed to your new surroundings often means a miserable experience. So cheer up! Or pack up. Number 3. Homesickness. Being homesick can be an unpleasant experience for many. And no, it doesn't mean your house is sick. Being homesick means you miss home, your family, friends, food, or anything that you like from home. Being alone in a foreign land with no friends, a different culture, in a different environment can sometimes be too much for some people to handle. If you're not able to make friends and envelop yourself into the country and the culture, then unfortunately many times it eventually leads to packing up your bags and heading home. Visa renewal issues. Visa renewal issues usually occur for students who can't find work after graduating or if the company who hired them fired them. The only way you can stay is with a valid visa unless you want to overstay your stay. That's not advised. It's time to leave. Some people have just had enough. They've been living and working in Japan for some time and have decided to go home. Nice and simple. I never really wanted to come to Japan and teach. My real ambition is to become an artist. Many people come to Japan as a way to explore, learn, develop and find themselves, but never intend to stay for the long term. They often return home seeking their careers or returning to further start becoming bitter. Staying for too long when you have been affected by negative culture shock can make you bitter. Everything seems crappy and you just want to go home. 
Usually, people who become bitter in Japan are only staying because they have a partner in Japan or some long-term commitments. So why did you come to Japan? Or why did you leave Japan? Have I left anything out? Comment below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.